What's going on, people? It's your boy Carl. For today is December 13th, 2019. And my second blog. So today, I want to touch topic on single parent homes. This is not a biased conversation. I feel like I know both parties, single parent mothers, single parent fathers, you know. What I want to say to both sides is, no matter how the relationship turn out, you still have to apply yourself as a parent. You know, I never understood how one could disappear and not care how they, their kids upbringing was. You know, one day that kid will be grown. They will have their own family, their own household. And accepting you at that point may be one of the hardest points in their life. They may, they may reject everything that you bring to the table based off the treatment that they got as a kid. So my message for today is, if you are able to apply yourself into your kid's life, regardless of how bitter the relationship was between you and the other parent, still be a parent. Don't run off because these are things that will catch back up to you later on in the third. When your kid, again, becomes grown, independent, and has accepted what is, which is you not being in the picture. You know, like I said, I know single mothers raising kids. I know single fathers raising kids. And I salute the both of you because I understand raising a kid is not an easy job. You know, um, for the parents that choose not to be a part of their kid's life for whatever reason. That's pretty self-centered and selfish of you to allow your kid to come up in this corrupt world today without you giving any guidance, you know. So what I want to say, my message today is, if you have the opportunity to be a parent, you have the opportunity to apply yourself into your child's life, do so do so. Don't make excuses. You know, you don't get along with the other parent. At some point, you're going to have to swallow your pride just to be able to apply yourself into your child's life. You know, you don't want your kid to grow up thinking you just said to hell with them. You know, and you move forward, you create another family, you create a new situation for yourself so you're able to ignore that. But one thing you need to understand is if that kid knows that you, you're their parent, they're not ignoring that. You know, so again, I don't want to get too deep into this. You know, for anyone who, who would like to respond or, or, you know, give me some input on this topic, you're more than welcome to do so. But again, my message today is if you're able to be a parent, if you have contact with your child, if you're able to step up to the plate, do so. Because again, that will all come back later on in the third if you were able to do so and you didn't. So for the women who choose to not let the, the baby fathers be in their life based off how the relationship went, kill all of that. It's a big world, you know. But they say love hurts, but you'll get over it. Simple as that, you know. Somebody else will come along and be more than willing to help you take care of you and your kid. But that doesn't make them their parents. You know, they stepped up and, and accepted you 
accepted your responsibilities as their own. You know, for the fathers who run off because the baby mama no longer wants you. Hey, if you left a kid behind based off the relationship, like I said, later on in the third, you'll have that to deal with. Your kid will grow up. They will want answers, or they might not. You know? But it's your job, your responsibility to help show them and mold them into everything they can possibly be one day. So, don't be a failure. Don't be a sucker. You know, just go for both sides. Handle your responsibilities. Don't leave it all on one person. You know, handle your responsibilities. It's my topic of the day. Single parent homes.